Minato, Nuleleipaiku. Welcome back to another edition of Nanticoke Language Lessons. Today we'll be learning Elangumachtit, terms for our relations or family members. In this lesson, we will learn a series of Nanticoke kinship terms, and we will also learn the paradigms for singular possession of inalienably possessed animate nouns. Here we will begin a family tree beginning with Nahak, myself, Nahak. Note that Nahak also means body, as we learned in the lesson on body parts. Now, all of the family terms given in this tree will be given in the first person, with the first person prefix na or an n. For my mother, we have nik, nik. For my father, we have nos, nos. Going back a generation to our grandparents, we have nemosoms for my grandfather, nemosoms. And for grandmother, or rather my grandmother, we have nohkum, nohkum. Note that the terms are the same regardless of whether one is speaking about their paternal or their maternal grandparents. Terms for aunt or uncle differ depending upon whether one is speaking about the maternal or paternal side of their family. For the maternal side, uncle is nasis, nasis. For aunt, the term is nekatet, nekatet. A paternal uncle is called nuchtet, nuchtet. And my paternal aunt is nemilichtaku, nemilichtaku. Terms for one's siblings overlap with terms for one's cousins. For an elder sister or an elder female cousin, regardless of whether it is a paternal or maternal cousin, you would say nims, nims. For elder brother or an elder male cousin, nimat, nimat. And then for a younger sibling or cousin without regard to the gender, you would say nisim or nisims, nisim, nisims. For my wife, you would say niu, niu. For my husband, you would say nexik or nexiki, nexik, nexiki. For my daughter, you would say ntan, ntan. Alternately, you could pronounce this as ndan. For my son, you would say nuksa, nuksa. And to simply say my child without specifying gender, you would say needs, needs. Just as with the body parts, which are inalienably possessed inanimate nouns, the inalienably possessed animate nouns have the prefixes directly appended to them without an additional affix. For first person, my, we have n. For second person, your, we have k. For third person, his or her, we have wa. And nouns with shortened endings are restored in the third person form. For instance, nahak, myself, versus wahakai, his or herself. Unlike the inalienably possessed inanimate nouns, there is not an indefinite possessor ma. Here we have some forms with the pronoun markers attached. For my father, we have nos, nos. For your father, kos, kos. For his or her father, os. Note that for forms beginning with o, there is no w. For my mother, we have nik, nik. For your mother, kik, kik. For his or her mother, wika, wika. Note that this has a restored ending. For my brother, nimat. Nimat, and note that this is elder brother. For your elder brother, kimat, kimat. For his or her elder brother, wimat, wimat. For elder sister, my elder sister is nims, nims. For your elder sister, kims, kims. For his or her elder sister, wims, wims. For a younger sibling without specifying gender, nisims, nisims. That's my younger sibling. For your younger sibling, kisims, kisims. 
for his or her younger sibling, we sims, we sims. And note that you can also say this without the s at the end, which is a diminutive affix. For my daughter, we have ntan, ntan, or in different dialects, ndan. For your daughter, ktan, ktan. For his or her daughter, wutan, wutan. For myself, nahuk, nahuk. For yourself, kahuk, kahuk. For his or herself, wahukai, wahukai. Willian for watching. La Pichkanawal Homo.